so good evening everyone and my sincerest warm greetings to all of you who are joining this evening for our demo day of incubator mcii iit bhu varanasi it's such a great pleasure to see you all of you here i am vikram kumar singh maker manager at mascom foundation as we are running cisco incubator program at mcii iit bhu varanasi from the past two years we are happy that in these two years we got an opportunity to work with some young and energetic minds to shape up their ideas and their startup dreams we definitely want to take this tradition forward in the upcoming years as our year 2 operation are coming to an end we thought of selecting some of the best teams from each universities and solicitate them and help them to reach some bigger platform so here we are today for the demo day we have with us nine best teams from incubator so who will be presenting their ideas with us and we have eminent juries who will be scoring these ideas before going to uh, the team for the presentations i would like to introduce and welcome our guests who have come here taking our their busy schedule uh, to evaluate our teams so i would like to uh, call akash verma a third year chemical engineering student of iit bhu and also he is a part of incubator student body yeah akash over to you Akash Verma you are on mute Can you hear us? So I guess there is some technical issue at Akash in. Akash, your audio is not connected. आप जिस व्यक्ति से बात कर रहे हैं उसने आपकी कॉल को होल्ड पर रखा है कृपया लाइन पर बने रहे विक्रम कैन यू कनेक्ट टू आकाश थ्रू कॉल भी फीचर एंड मे बी ही कैन जॉइन इन द नेक्स्ट वन इन स्टेड ऑफ फर्स्ट नो ही कैन प्रेजेंट इन द सेकेंड and you can just pass on to the next team yeah agar i guess uh, it is it is audible i now. just got uh, akash over call me akash can you hear us cool yes sir can you hear me yes we can hear you cool okay i'm like i got some echo like, yeah i am playing and i'm akash third year iit bhu and i'd like to welcome all of you to our first online mode demo day of coworth key so as you know cisco think you better is a network of maker spaces in part of it universities where students can learn as about digital technologies in a hands on environment and they can actually turn their ideas into working prototypes and solve their local problems so i'd like to welcome our special guest for this evening mr vishaya Vice President of Architecture, ECF Pacific and Japan, Cisco. 
is a passionate about building high performing teams and has led Cisco teams in APJ to global startup. Welcome you, sir. Hey, thanks, Akash. So coming to our jury members, I'd like to welcome Mr. Lakshmi Narasimhan, technical architect at Cisco. Hello, sir. Hey, and thank welcome you. So coming to our next jury member, Mr. Arvin Nadi is a co-founder of at Ally2 Business and Brahmati, and an ethics and entrepreneur, a passionate about innovative and technological enthusiasts. Welcome you. Hey, hi. Thank you. And then we have Mr. Kareem Dilwis from IIT Delhi, and also the co-founder of Concept of Integrative Intelligence. Hey. Welcome, I welcome you, sir, this evening. Yeah, hello, everyone. So, coming to our next view, remember, Ms. Sonal Sukla, manager at Mahamana Ma IT Business Incubator at IIT BHC. He got, she got 16 years of IT project development experience and has a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of skills in developing the startup to a niche level and, and going to the market. So I'd, I'd like to welcome her in our, in our speech with behalf. So, and, and also we have our uh, incubator program lead uh, Joshua in, in, in Bakumar, sir. Hello, sir. <coughs> Welcome you. Hope you have a hi, hi. Thank you so much, Akash. So, and along with we have our tech mentors who have who have been keep, uh, who have been helping us in this journey, and uh, and our teams are very blessed to have them. Lyle and Prashant, sir. Thanks, Akash. <laughs> So yeah, I, and I I like to welcome all the teams and hope you have a great day. So over to Vikram sir. Uh, thank you, Akash. Uh, so just I would like to uh, give a general instruction about the the event. So in this we'll have a four minute of video presentation. After that we'll have a four minute of question and and answer session. Then we'll take a thirty minute of pause uh, for the scoring of the team. So uh, we have our first team, Niroj. So can we have the presentation, please? Price, time, and the quality of product is important concern for customers looking for app development. Product development is one of the hardest part for startups where 23% of them fails. No affordable option exists in the market for MVP quality of app development. Tools like APPI are limited by design and complexity, where dev shops deliver quality but are too expensive for one-time development. And that is why Delta App came into equation. We build mobile applications for early age startups and businesses in one-tenth of the cost and time by automating design and build process and using a vast network of development partners. We are saving money and time for young companies and generating income for college students and developers. We follow a very basic six-step development cycle where we receive a project, segregate it into tasks and features, get it done with our partner team. As soon as we receive the project from our partner team, our in-house team do quality checks on that and get finishing touch to it and make it deliverable. And as soon as it's done, we are ready to deliver. And that is how we make it 10x faster at one tenth of the cost without even compensating on the quality. Talking about our market size, so we are starting with $3.8 billion budget and quick development market from overall $106 billion global app development market. We are growing two weeks every month. Starting from April, we have already crossed $13,000 US dollars so far, and we are projecting to hit $1 million ARR in the next 11 months. And the interesting fact is that our customers have saved more than $100,000 so far. We have served some of the coolest startups across the world uh, where few are backed by UI Combinator and other Silicon Valley investors. 
let me tell you how how we do it. So we usually automate the development feature up to 70% by using APIs and all of any mobile app and have a network of programmers to customize the remaining 30%. This method reduces the time to market and dev cost by 80%. And remember that you only use well-vetted network of college students and freelancing programmers for programming. We have competitions. We are competed by dev shops who give you uh, good quality of product uh, and building projects with them is quite easy, but they are neither affordable nor quick. On the other hand, we have no codes who are surely affordable and quick, but the quality and the complexity of the project is questionable with them. And that is why Delta Apps gives you dev shop quality apps at the price and time of no codes. We follow a basic simple business model where we charge as per project specification and make more than 50% net margin on each project. All these things has been done because of three guys out there, Shritij, Saksham and Shavan. We started with three developers initially and now we are 50 plus development partners family and we are making it more big every day. Let's have a look at our small ad video. As the world of work evolves, timeline and budget are getting tighter. Security risks are growing. Competition in the market is scaling like never before. And future-proofing your business is essential to your success. You need a quality tech talent team more than ever before. But finding this team and getting product built is only getting harder. This is where Delta comes in. Here, hard to develop products aren't hard to develop. We help businesses safely build product 10 times faster and 90% more affordable than the market with the right tech skills right now. Whether you are looking for a website or for an app that uses the latest technologies such as AI, ML, blockchain, and cloud, our hand-picked, trained, and experienced developers will help you get your product built with speed and confidence. And if you need changes, Delta makes it easy to adopt. From design to development to payment, Delta is the flexible solution to get your product built. In terms of timeline, quality, and payment, that is why some of the best startups and businesses trust Delta. Whatever you need to get built, get it built with Delta. Delta Apps, building market-ready product at an affordable price in no time. So thank you, Satish and his team. So well, I would like to ask Juri to please their question to the cities and the team. Hey guys. Uh, Vikram, is it is it, a, is it a, uh, an order in which we are supposed to ask questions or we just jump in? No, we, we don't have order actually, uh, but anyone can call out their name and they can ask the question. Okay. So uh, I, have, I have a small question. I From the yeah. presentation and from the video, it's not clear what exactly is your uh, main forte. Is it uh, project management? Is it uh, a software development architecture framework that you have come up with, which is your uh, unique point? Uh, uh, or is it uh, you do the uh, estimation better than the rest of the companies who are in the similar uh, line? We do software development and how we are different from others is if we, uh, we can develop your mobile apps, website or things and we can make it 10x faster than the market. We, we will offer you one tenth of the cost. And we can like, you know, you are sure you can be sure about your quality while working with us. So yeah, simply we can say we are a software development solution and making it a startup and business centric. Hi, this uh, is let, let, yeah, let me clarify my question once again. I was asking that uh, out of these three choices, are you uh, are you a project management shop who does the project manage well and uh, there are development network and you're able to manage it? Second, are you developing some kind of, of an automated framework, which is able to uh, take some pieces of the software development cycle and uh, do fast and your intellectual property rest there. Or third, uh, uh, you are doing the estimation better. So you need to pick one of one or more of these three. So I will go with first and second, actually. We are mixed of that, you can say. Uh, we are one, one, like you know, we are uh, one and two club together. Okay. 
we can we are sort of you know uh, we are managing it and uh, it on our back end to get this stuff done and on the front end you know we have a we can help you to get your product built and we have some automation sector also at our back end happening to reduce the time and cost so that's the thing so is this automation a uh, certain ip that you have developed or is it uh, essentially existing stacks no. that you're using no. Uh, something like that we are existing stack so we are building a lot of stack of apis which we have okay so you know we are just uh moving with so, so many apis built uh already and we are just going to club it together to make your product and if there's something unique we can work on that with our uh developers see suction this is a tough business because each customer will come with unique requirements so yes. what are the common problems you are trying to solve and i said i heard you said that you have closed 13000 dollars worth of business so how many customers has it come from and what are the common problems you are solving for so uh, we have actually you know served around 20 plus customers so far uh, where we have ser- like you know we are serving five of them so it is uh, totally from them only okay the problem which we are facing as of now is the chicken and egg problem which we are solving that okay, we have to maintain the demand and supply i mean we are getting projects very easily because we are tying up with incubators accelerators and also jumping to some forum to get uh, get the clients or startups on board on the other end we also have to partner with our development team so we want to ensure that we are ensuring that you know uh, the demand and the supply should be made. I mean, we should have as much as number of developer with us to, you know, get the things done which are coming from the, uh, you know, start the requirement coming from the startups. So uh, and so far, I have seen that like what 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 we have experienced is that people are coming with definitely coming with various uh, ideas, but the root cause and you know the root thing are very common within them. So it is quite easy to serve them. And the most uh, best thing out here is that startups are the guys who are very easy to adopt changes. They work with us. They even brainstorm with us and get their best thing out from us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so uh, actually, we are running short of the time. So actually, four minutes is over. Uh, so, just, uh, do remember, uh, could you please go to the team, the app, and team code is IIT01. Good afternoon, everyone. We are Team Health Nation. We are trying to reimagine the future of healthcare in India. Let us start by understanding your problem. A typical Indian patient has a lot of physical prescriptions and test reports. Big hospitals have a digital record, but then they are not interoperable. And it's difficult to track all the relevant medical history of the patients as documents tend to get misplaced easily. Uh, for the doctor, doctors expect a lot of unscheduled patient walk-ins leading to overcrowded OPDs. That leads to skewed uh, the doctor-patient ratio and deplorable average consultation times. And doctors are not sort of able to provide the best experience to the patients. Doctors expect the patients to be very uh, uh, interactive in the consultations while patients don't sort of understand all the questions that they need to ask the doctors and this is what we figured out from uh, an interview with a very senior person in one of the largest healthcare chains in Asia. Uh, we did a lot of other primary research, talking to a lot of doctors and patients across uh, the country, I mean across seven or eight cities in the country. We figured out that doctors and patients are increasingly digital literate, but then they're struggling to grapple with the upcoming policies uh, around National Health Stack and Ayushman Bharat, and then favorable policies around telemedicine are sort of going to only expedite the trend. Uh, PMJ is a very successful case study where over 3 lakh patients have been reimbursed 4,400 crores worth of claims and then the next phase of implementation is about electronic health records to provide a cashless and paperless healthcare experience to everyone in the country everywhere. Uh, the doctor to patient ratio in India is about 1450 to 1 which is a very poor uh, average consultation time with under two and a half minutes. Uh, the solution is something that is twofold. We plan to merge all these three trends of telemedicine digital literacy in upcoming nationwide policies to uh, make an OPD toolkit and a clinical documentation tool. 
the opening toolkit will sort of help the doctors document uh, a medical history of the patient while they are waiting in the OPDs. The clinical documentation tool is the solution to sort of help the doctors input all this information into the national health stack. Uh, the OPD toolkit is very simple, that follows a very simple principle where you uh, are a patient, you upload your medical history, uh, I mean you upload an audio clip on your smartphone that sort of gets converted into medical history by a process in the cloud uh, and this is actually shared with the doctor just before you are about to enter the consultation. Uh, this looks like this where you have to just sort of follow those simple instructions and then upload that. It's a web app currently and we sort of mask all the details, we don't store any information and all this information is shared directly with the hospital chains and they sort of can, uh, you know, uh, store all this information as and when they sort of like it. Now uh, we also take information like around symptoms, vital signs, medications, physical tests, etc. Uh, we figured out that in India there is a variety of languages that are spoken and then there are a lot of dialects and accents in every region that, and also patients are sort of unaware about the medical uh, conditions and that sort of leads them to be reluctant towards sharing the right, accurate medical information with the patients. So we also sort of are working on building a chatbot. Currently we have started with the respiratory system where our chatbot sort of helps uh, collect all the medical information relevantly, I mean with the help of an assisted board. Uh, and this is the together is the core offering uh, that we're trying to sort of provide. During the consultation, the doctor patient conversation is recorded via any smart device and the audio clip is sort of processed at the end of the sum, uh, end of the consultation to provide a summary. The doctors and can then edit and provide comments as and when they require because we understand that healthcare is very different from any other uh, application of machine learning. Uh, this sort of helps the healthcare providers maintain a consolidated record of the medical resume of the patient, the consultation summary and the test reports and especially for large chain hospitals whom we talked to and we onboarded on the system, on the platform, uh, they really appreciated the idea. Uh, so we provide convenience uh, as the major value proposition and uh, leveraging some of the existing campaigns of making India TB free by 2025, we believe that we'll be able to tap into a growing market at a, that is currently valued at an 800, INR, uh, 800 billion INR with a CAGR of 25%. So what next? We plan to extend into different vernacular languages and into different specialities in terms of our offering with the chatbot. We also want to partner with as many as hospital chains as possible to grow and scale. Uh, currently, we are placed at a very nice white space where we don't see a lot of competition. Uh, there are different apps by incumbent hospitals, but most of them are uh, ineffective. Uh, Cure AI is a startup that does something very similar, but that works in the field of medical imaging. Uh, so we have actually built this solution on uh, constantly building it with practicing physicians. Uh, we are partnering with a health mode, uh, with a healthcare startup that is currently in stealth mode that is building India's first virtual hospital and through this partnership we have already onboarded a lot of large big hospital chains centered around North India. One of the examples is Center for Sight uh, that is an eye care specialty chain. Uh, other details are of course confidential at the moment and we plan on sort of uh, providing a lot of impact through innovation, adoption and trust. And this is our team, we are sort of well versed with AI and uh, software development, all of us are sort of experienced in cloud technologies as well. And we have also surrounded ourselves with a nice advisory board because we understand that it's a very problem that needs to be tackled very differently. So thank you and we are now open to questions. Thank oh. you team. So judges, uh, juries, anybody? What is your uh, primary revenue model that you follow? Uh, so right now, uh, I'm Pratush by the way. So right now, the uh, business model is it's mostly a SaaS API. We have partnered with a telemedicine startup. Uh, they're trying to build India's first virtual hospital. They are using our offering to provide solutions to their uh, partners, and which include uh, players like Center for Sight, and there is another respiratory uh, chain that sort of focuses on COVID-related tests in Delhi. So basically, we are we are building them uh, through a SaaS API model. So Pratyush, I think you've really developed this idea beautifully. I think just curious, given COVID uh, and given that there is a real hard, it's really hard for the co physical consultation to happen, is there no desire to look at virtual uh, uh, using, uh, you know, available tools? Just curious. I mean, or is there any reason not to do that? Because I'm just curious, because I think it'll be hard for you to scale this model. And, uh, uh, yes, with COVID here, so. Uh, thank you. Thank you for this question, Vish. Uh, what actually we found out through our research and through whatever talks we had with uh, existing healthcare players like Traku, Librate, I mean, all the telemedicine players in India, is that uh, doctors are not really happy with what they're offering. And all of these problems, all these platforms sort of uh, face a chicken and egg problem where we need to attract doctors and then patients will come. And then we need to keep attracting more patients so that more doctors will come. So we did not want to even fight with this. So our offering is helping a practitioner provide better experience to their patients and to their doctors. 
so uh, on 15th of august uh, modi ji announced one uh, national health pack where he was sort of will be having digital health records in india for the first time ever so our job is helping doctors of these platforms or big hospitals use our platform to input this data efficiently into the health stack and it's also uh, important i mean uh, our offering will also help a practo uh, provide a, a audio consultation of sorts to the uh, to the patients who are sort of using practo for a teleconsultation with a doctor for example the flow i think uh, in case others are not aware what will happen is i'll probably call a practo i'll probably book an appointment with a doctor which is in the evening but before i actually sort of join that conversation i'll tell practo as to what are the problems i'm facing practo will document all of that and show it to the doctor and by the time the doctor and i sort of sit for the consultation both of us are aware of what the conversation is going to look like essentially you're solving an adjacency problem for someone in the industry already so very nice got it thanks and we have already collaborated so we'll be launching in say the next uh, couple of weeks uh, and i'll probably be the first one to sort of share that uh, app with everyone and we'll probably you know uh, be hoping to get some early adopters thank you Okay, uh, this is Lal Nesman here from Cisco Launchpad. Uh, it's great innovative solution that you have built. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, uh, congratulations on that. So, uh, going forward, I uh, while the product is very well matured already, I would like to uh, introduce another startup that we have involved and uh, see what we can learn. Because what I see here also is what if we can read the data from other biomedical devices and uh, together uh, send a data readings from that. collectively right more than audio uh, you know voice interaction uh, on the real time data so there are some improvements uh, still we can work on sure thank you and i mean i'll probably reach out to vikram and he'll probably connect the two of us uh, happy to talk about it absolutely sure sure uh, any other questions thank you jagdeep uh, so uh, can we have this quote from the each of the jury members please so team code will be iit 04 and stay on the screen so after that we'll move to the next team uh, next team is our team hydrogen and Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to present our idea in front of you. We are team Hydrogen. The question is why this idea came to us. Let's see that. In today's global scenario for climate change, CO2 emission is biggest threat. As we can see here, household electricity give 30%, industrial emission give 24%. vehicle emission give 45% co2 emission which is harmful for environment human and the whole earth by seeing this situation we came up with the solution that hydrogen can be used as a clean fuel because of its wonderful property like pollution free scalable abundant in nature and high energy now we will see the different hydrogen production technique in today's era so these are refining of natural gas oil reforming electrolysis of water steam cracking of butane in this technique some are costlier some are not sustainable that is why we can different way for production of hydrogen it is solar to fuel we will use the solar energy for hydrogen generation it's cyclic thermochemical hydrogen generation process and it has five steps first the reduction of the material at 1100 kelvin take place then we elevate the temperature very high oxidation ox oxygen get removed then at 900 kelvin temperature oxidation of material will take place after this water splitting reaction will take place and we will get hydrogen as a product as we can see here now the question arises in mind what kind of material will be used for this cyclic process how to know that material so for that 
experimental driven to data driven material science in this the first step we have a 2000 currently 2000 data sets of peroxide material then we will use data sets to train our machine learning model after this we will use the deep learning algorithm to predict the material that is suitable for further experiments then we will perform the experiment with those selected materials for verification that the material is suitable for cyclic reaction or not. So these are the steps. Now we will see the hydrogen economy impact. Decreasing climate change 25%, energy from fuel cell technology 20%, energy in fuel cell vehicle 35% and the best one which is our main concern is uh, reduction in CO2 emission from vehicle 40 percent. As we have seen earlier, the CO2 emission from vehicle it was 45 percent. That problem will get solved. Now we will see the business model. Initial funding. I am feeling proud to say that government recognizes its potential and grants 60 lakh rupees from Ministry of Science and Technology. Our project also got collaboration with Tata Steel Research and Development. One of our team member, Vibhu Vardhan Singh, will go for this project to the steel in the upcoming months, in winters. For revenue model, once we get done with hydrogen generation, we can sell our technology to power cell and electric vehicle companies. We will also patent for the material which will be used in the hydrogen generation for the revenue purpose. So this is all about from our side. Thank you very much. Thank you, team Hydrogen. So judges, can we have the question? Uh, hey, uh, just to compare and ask, right? So uh, today companies like uh, Ballot Systems and Emerson, uh, uh, they are designed these uh, fuel cell generators which is powering up uh, most of the base stations, uh, mobile base stations that can uh, at least, uh, you know, uh, fuel that for at least three months. That's an advantage. So uh, I just want to see what what more innovation or uh, any proportion that you are bringing here. So have you done any research around that to, you know, cover what technology being used that and what you are trying to solve here as well? Hello, sir. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so for like uh, what happens, like it's not happening, uh, like uh, in our country, this hydrogen is not being used, and mostly the natural gas and petrol are being used. So, it has more potential in India, actually. Okay. Uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, uh, so, like, yeah. Hey, I just asked you know uh, uh, what what kind of uh, differentiation that you are bringing here. I mean, just wanted to know on the research phase what it is. So actually, that that uh, like the technique uh, that we are using for generation of the hydrogen, it is not being used by any of the industries right now. And as a competition, only IISC Bangalore have started this thing, and we okay. So yeah. Okay. Sure, I'll look at that. I'll look at that product or what it is if you have any manual string. So actually, uh, all, all of our product it is inside the institute. It's in the okay. department. Okay, okay. Very well. Thank Deepu, you. My, my only question to you is, I understand yes. the uniqueness of India, but given global supply chains, uh, there, is not in, there is not so much critical mass around electric vehicles that use off that use hydrogen and so on and so forth. So that's why I'm just feeling that you will have a unique solution, but you will not like, uh, I get what you're doing with Tata Steel, but I don't see any consumer of electric vehicles or any, uh, like, wouldn't you, it wouldn't be logical for you to work with automobile companies uh, so that uh, they make hydrogen as part of their ecosystem as opposed to lithium or something else. That's just my question. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your question. So the first thing is that, 
inside india the the electric vehicles are not getting as much as much as traction as in the us and the only point is the cost of the fuel and also car like the the electric car is costly and then the fuel is also costly we what we are trying to solve is the the cost of the hydrogen it can be drastically go to a very low point so that's why it can like the, the, because in india what uh, like uh, the consumer market it is like it want to buy the thing which is as cheap as possible thanks you any faculty is working to change for their research yes sonal ma'am uh, actually uh, i guess you are not quite audible yes. question who is working i'm audible now hello uh, no ma'am actually i'm not able to hear you i don't know what the other not clear ma'am shall i try the So, ma'am, you can drop your question in the chat box. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dibu Vardhan, would you like to take that question? Sir, Akash is going to do. Uh, Akash, Akash will answer this. Hello. Hello. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Yes, sir. professor uh, dr rajiv singh sir he is a faculty in medical department and he is working on it and he is guiding us so thank you akash yeah uh, so akash vibhu yes yes sir i have a, i i have a a uh, basic lame question uh, 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 the material that you are you know i understand that you are trying to create a material is it uh, for the catalyst or for the enclosure that no, you sir. are uh, developing yes sir i am getting sir we are not developing any kind of catalyst it is the coal material like it is not a catalyst Okay, uh, so can we have the score from the jury members? So team code will be IIT zero nine. So next we have team priority pulse. Hi everyone, we are team priority pulse. Life simples. We are a team of four thoughtful minds of IIT BHU came up with a compact solution for the most complicated problem that's due to delay of ambulance. While inquiring the exact location of the patient takes away some crucial minutes. The major problem causing delays is traffic. In 2017, 20% of emergency patients deaths were caused by traffic jams. Every second, a heart attack patient in India takes more than 400 minutes to reach a hospital, which is almost 13 times more than the ideal window of 30 minutes as per government data. Nowadays, booking an ambulance is quite more difficult than booking a cab. We observe that the hospitals are not aware of the patient's condition before his arrival. Let us have a look at our solution. Solution: A product consists of three websites, an application, and also a hardware device. User website. 
Users can search nearby hospitals, can also send location and details to the hospital, and also can track the ambulance. Hospital website and mobile app. Hospital guys fill the patient details sends them to driver, driver navigates and sends the request to the police, and pre-arrangements will be done while bringing the patient. Control website. Police can grant or reject a request. Can change the traffic signals manually. Progress. Soon Priority Pulse is becoming Priority Pulse Private Limited as the registration of the company is under process. Undergoing through a selection process where NCL is going to incubate startups. We hired 6 technical members, 4 front-end, 2 back-end, with the help of these technical members, we finished 90% of our product and are going to test MVP soon. We hired 6 non-technical members, 2 content writers, 2 graphic designers, 2 resource persons, for launching and handling our social media pages. Future Plans MVP is getting ready soon. We will do simultaneous pilot runs for the tracking part and hardware part. For the tracking part, we will do a pilot run in nearby hospitals. For the hardware part first, we will seek permissions from the government to access signals and then we will do pilot run for a hardware device. After pilot runs we will launch the actual product by combining both parts. Competition and advantages. Competitors and their product features till now. One-touch emergency booking. Estimated time of arrival. Direct on-call communication. Book an ambulance for others. Freedom of choice. Our product includes all these features plus some unique features such as raises funds for 108 services. Giving away in hectic traffic. Pre-medication. Track 108 ambulances. Get loyalty points for discounts. A. Business model. We take 15% commission on each ride from private hospitals. Currently, the market size for 39,000 ambulances is around 7.1 billion rupees per year in India. For 1,000 rupees ride we take 150 rupees. Assuming 50% of 39,000 ambulances each having one ride per day then the minimum revenue per annum that we can generate will be 106 million rupees. Demo. Our product runs in a series of steps as shown in the illustration, let's see how it works. Whenever a user sees an accident he opens our user website and books an ambulance by calling the hospital near him and sends the location and gets back the updates. This website is for the hospital authority where they can send patient details to the ambulance driver which they got from the user and prepare for the premedication. Drivers have a mobile application where he can find the route exactly and get real-time updates from the user and hospital authority. Here is a website that is only controlled by a control room where they can grant permission to access traffic signals accordingly. As soon as the police grant the permission, our server triggers the traffic signal by sending a message to the hardware device. This is the working prototype of the hardware, it changes the state of the traffic signals as soon as it receives the message. Thank you team. So can we have the question? Hey, just a question. Hey, this is really come a long way. Are you hearing echo from my side? Sorry, sir. There is an audio problem, I think. Uh, is, is it better, Nitesh? No? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, better. Hey, this has come a long way. So, essentially, uh, do you have, like, I love your minimum value viable product. Is there a, is there a city where you're prototyping this? Is there where it's connected to uh, all of the Actually, different systems. Actually, at system. present, yeah. At present, uh, we made, we completed 90% of our product. Going to, uh, whatever the product we made now, we tested them. They are working fine. But we need to do some pilot runs in real, real time. And uh, we are looking for NCL further, where NCL will provide uh, Incubation for us. Awesome. No, no, I think let me see if we can help you because we are providing a smart city infrastructure for 20 odd states already. Yes, yeah, sir. That's a great thing. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And soon we are going to the private limited company. We are going to register within two or three days. Very good. The registration is under process. Cool. Thanks. Any questions? Uh, great. Uh, Any other question? <clears throat> Lakshmi here. It's really innovative. And uh, what, uh, what uh, more support I can extend you is 
on on the GPS tracking device, which is reliable, right? So now you did a prototype with Arduino, I see at the last, but uh, Arduino and I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. So I'll help you with a uh, recognized one, which is most suitable for the tracking. Uh, I'll reach out to Rajit and send my recommendations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Actually, I need some support from Cisco Thingy Beta. One is mm -hmm. like need connections with the government. Like uh, our product contains uh, two features. One is tracking one, and another one is uh, controlling the traffic signal from remote location. For the mm -hmm. second part, we need some good connections with the government. So we have a strategy like uh, first we will launch the all the three websites and the app without the hardware hardware device. We will give it to the police and hospital respective websites and the app to the respective users. And then we will give it freely for the police guys. They will use for one month or two months. Then we will gain uh, belief and uh, support from the government. And then we will start working with the hardware device. I mean, with the traffic signals. Uh, Nitish, this is Puneet. I was just... Uh... Trying to understand that uh, since you have already uh, hardware is part of your uh, solution, so have you uh, yeah. planned that you will put more sensors on your hardware to improve your proposition to the uh, to the authorities, and just yes, not uh, you know just only for uh, rather than using that hardware only for switching, so maybe uh, sensing air quality, traffic density, and other sensors. Yes, that sir. If you Actually, can put on our yeah, our hardware device plays the first and most uh, crucial role in developing uh, smart cities because we are connecting traffic signals to the internet. And also we are providing some user interface in the website for the police so that using the website, they can control the traffic signals directly. They know how what is the state of the traffic signal, whether it is red state or blinking or any. We are going to implement this. Along with that, we thought of these uh, traffic densities and all these things. If you got the permissions with the traffic signal, the rest of the things can be done. Hope it's answered. Any other questions, sir? Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so we have some suggestion from the Sonal ma'am that uh, NCL Singroli could be a good option to run a pilot for you. And so any way you are into that process. So from the judges, can we have this code? Yeah. Thank you, Nitish. So team code will be IIT13. I will be looking for NCL as well. Yes, sir. Cisco, thank you. Thank you for giving the support. Thank you. Thank you once again. Can we have this code from the judges? Yeah. So next team is drive me. Hi everyone, this is TM Drives Me Technologies. So, first of all, I want to brief about TM Drives Me. So, we develop a next gen ML based SMT device, smart monitoring transportation device for transporters, which ensures safety of their vehicles and passengers while moved. Okay, so now let's continue the further presentation. Let's come to the problem. Some uh, means before problem, let's come to some uh, eye opening stats. Okay, have a look on it. Okay, so uh, as per a report in 2019, year 2019, more than four lakh uh, death has been reported due to road accidents. Okay, different kind of road accidents. Uh, only 9% women in India feel safe about public transport and cab as per the report of news18.com. Other 91% feels unsafe, you can say that. Uh, let's come to the third point that uh, states that in year 2018, more than 19,000 19, plus only four-wheeler car has been theft in New Delhi. Leave it. Leave the point of well, leave it. Leave about uh, two wheeler or track. Leave it. Okay. Only four. I am just talking about four. Wheeler. Okay. So now let's come about problem which we are solving. So basically, we are working. In, we are working in transportation sector. And in transportation sector, there is two important aspects. You can say 
one is the transporter and second one is uh, use customer of transporters okay so we are looking on the problem of both both of this uh, spec you can say so if we talk about uh, transporters so they feel that transport sector is very unorganized why they feel because they think that fleet management breaks it doesn't satisfy their need have less accuracy less accuracy same for ip camera supervision they think that ip camera supervision will be must in their vehicle as uh, compared to uh, to reduce the chance of road accidents as the uh, driver is very means very driving casually on road and all also to stop the misuse of their vehicle by driver okay but they are unable to do this because uh, because of you can say there are many reasons they because it camera is uh, even the sensor not uh, that will is having unable to fulfill the complete demand or you can say uh, they are not aware of it there are many reasons but they are so like that okay. if we talk about the user I mean customer of transporters then you can say that they feel unsafe due to road accidents human safety is a issue means when a customer or a corporate industry corporate office wants to transport something from point a to point b and they are using any transport any heavy truck heavy truck heavy vehicle then uh, you can say they, there is a chance that their product will, will be uh, will be damaged while transportation because due to road accidents okay so these are some problem of a customer means problem of customer So let's come to the solution. The solution is that they can use our device, our next-gen ML-based SMT device. Okay, a SMT device, something like a smart point transportation device for transport sector, which is a ML-based device with detection capabilities in very less cost, and in very it is very easy to install in their vehicles and all. Okay, so let's come to the features and uh, all uh, these features and all about uh, how it will work and all. Okay. First one is that first one is very important to the empty of assurance. We are providing empty of assurance that if you driver of a car, then you are the only person who can operate that car. A transporter, let's come to second point. A transporter or a driver can uh, operate their vehicle or operate the transporter can operate the whole a whole transport whole its you can say whole agency through one click through its mobile application. Okay, so let's come to third point. Uh, with monitoring, with regard to monitoring. Uh, we are providing live streaming uh, access. I mean, we are providing live streaming. You can say, and access will be given to the transporters, which will be accessed through its traffic mobile application or mobile application anytime, anywhere. And it is customized with some ML algorithm. And don't think that we are using any hardware IP IP camera in the car. It's not like that. We are using just we are providing a mobile application to the driver. And for that only, you can say it provides complete prevention to road accident, like due to drunk and drive, due to over tracking, due to over speed and all. So uh, due to some reason, actually, perhaps he's not able to join the call. Uh, so perhaps he's uh, like uh, working on the idea right now. So I will request on the judges to please score the team based on the presentation. So after that, we'll uh, move to the next team. So we don't have a uh, Q and A session for this team. So uh, so kindly score the team based on the presentation. So team score is IIT one five. So after that, there will be a next team, easy way. So Mr. Sahil will be presenting. Can we have the video presentation from the Sahil? Yeah. Thank you. Finish. <laughs>
with the spread of corona pandemic it's of utmost importance to use sanitizer to disinfect hands to keep ourselves safe from covid-19 normally bottled hand sanitizers are in use and are good for home but in public places where a large number of persons use them they become inconvenient and expensive auto sanitizer which is an ideal sanitizing solution for factories offices shops and above all your home as well auto sanitizer is well mountable and has advanced touchless fully automatic operation simply keep your hands under the auto sanitizer and it sprays a desired amount of sanitizer in the form of fine atomized mist from its dripless nozzle within seconds this way it avoids any human touch and also saves on cost its specially designed quick operating sensor is ideal for repeated use of sanitizer at your entrance today and protect your people from infections in the most Thank you, team. Easy way. So I would request from the judges to ask the question, and Sail is there to answer that. Sail and his team. There are quite a few products like this that I have seen already in the market. How do you differentiate in terms of uh, technology or pricing or uh, scaling? So uh, we had uh, started. doing our project in month of uh, april and may where uh, so uh, we have used sensor based system basically we are minimize we are minimizing the cost of that system to 3000 approx so in the existing market we surveyed uh, there are already some products related to it but its cost was too high that was 5 to 6000 so we decided to come up with the technology and the sensor system which minimizes the amount of spray of uh, amount of spray so that the uh, pro hand can be properly get sanitized with the uh, machine so we used through our system it spray only 2 3 gram of sanitizer to it in this way we are saving uh, sanitizer in lot a better way than existing products in the market and with this we are also minimizing the cost of product that's all sir a, a good show team actually i think to build something so fast and, and how many live deployments do you have of this machine in in we have made we have made three project uh, three products and it was made in uh, my team member sahil house and we have not deployed uh, we have deployed one or two product in nearby places but uh, we are uh, we are uh, trying to uh, install this products in government buildings uh, where lots of people came so that they feel uh, they get sanitized uh, contactless but uh, we are Uh, having lack of funds to install these products on uh, other areas so currently we have installed only one or two products nearby and we have not uh, did uh, we have not installed our product in other areas till now no oh, thanks for doing this i think solving a real problem yeah. appreciate it absolutely yeah so i like me here so uh, i have to extend this capability you know uh, on more future if we can and as part of the yes. technology right so just to keep a track if uh, if it is if it goes empty can you generate uh, generate an alert right that's particular yes, just make one future if we can add that will be of great uh, yes. that the unique differentiation that you can show with a regular product yes, which is available in the market and uh, yes, i think a uh, lot of a lot of people are running out of that and uh, you know refueling that it's taking time actually i know that i've worked on the projects like uh, you know in a toilet dispenser that uh, the tissue paper is getting over there there is that's a that was a major project that you know uh, people considered and uh, it generates an alert and they will refuel so it's all uh, when it comes to integration right uh, part of tracking the inventory and uh, integration into the crm right so this you know adding that particular one more technology will be an addition <laughs> sir we already we already deployed this feature in this the red color uh, red color bulb and this uh, alarm will 
uh, gate alarm will be generated when there is empty uh, when the tank gate empty uh, through uh, some particular threshold it automatically send alert to refill it yes. that's great uh, i didn't know that uh, thank you thank you so uh, uh, we have the lack of fund to deploy this projects uh, in government sector and any private field so we are uh, we are seeking for the funding to deploy this project and to uh, pro uh, mass scale this product in case you are looking for a manufacturing facility and you are ready with your prototype and you just want to yes, scale sir. so you can connect with me offline uh, my my yes. question here uh, was more about the product uh, feature. Can this product uh, uh, work without uh, the sanitizer liquid? So without sanitizer liquid, this product uh, will not work as uh, this product is only uh, based on the sanitizer uh, liquid. So we are uh, further thinking of uh, integrating this with ultraviolet uh, uh, rays and something like that. But it uh, makes it's more expensive. So uh, at this at this present, we are thinking to uh, uh, some uh, selling some uh, refills along with this, so that people can refill it in case of empty tanks. Thank you. Uh, so thank you. The video that you showed us uh, was it your device or was it uh, just for it's the our device. representation it purposes? Was, okay. It was uh, fully our. The device shown in the video was fully our device and it was developed in Sahil, uh, one of our team members' uh, home. Okay, great. Thanks. So Thanks. I would love uh, Vidya and Sahil to just connect with the police sir offline. Uh, so yes. uh, it will be a great for you. So uh, for, uh, for the next team, uh, so I would like to request from the Thanks. judges, so can we have the score for the team? So next team will be Anchor Prosthetic and Sachin will be going to project. Good afternoon everyone, we are the team Prosthetic Anchor. These are our team members. I am Sachin Negi and I am going to present on this prestigious demo day. Problem statement. Our main aim is to design low cost powered prosthetic anchor. To achieve this goal, we have divided our problem statement into three parts. The first part is the gate analysis. Here we have designed a wireless sensor based system to record the kinematics of human movement. The next step is the simulation and modeling of ankle foot processes. And finally, the design of control circuitry for powered ankle foot. If we talk about the conventional foot like Jaipur foot, sack foot, they are passive in nature. Also, they are heavy and bulky. The multiple degree of freedom dynamic feet are also available in the market, but their cost is too high and they are mostly imported from foreign country. We have taken the feedback of few amputees from Nautial Artificial Limb Center, Dehradun. They were using conventional foot and for this they were totally dependent on prosthetics for the proper design of the socket. The socket plays a major role for adjusting the ground reaction force on the body. So we thought in this way that why not can we provide variable damping on the foot itself. It can reduce the power requirement of the amputee while propulsion of their foot. Our solutions. We are trying to make prosthetic of much lower weight comparable to the actual human leg which will be an AI powered prosthetic using a battery as a power source. And as a result, person wearing it doesn't require to put any effort on it. Here we are using a single axis foot adapter with carbon fiber based foot. And we are using magnetorheological damper to provide damping within a fraction of a second while working on wearable parents. So far, we have completed our gate analysis part using wearable sensor. So here we are showing a small demo for it. We have designed this PCB for the acquisition and signal conditioning of Flexiforce sensors, inertial measurement unit, IMU, sensors, and MyOware AMG muscle sensors. This is the Arduino Nano used as a controller. It reads these sensors value from different analog channels. This is the transmitter module. Data is transmitted from this module which is placed on both LEDs to the receiver module by using NRF wireless protocol. For recording the gate kinematics data, we have used three IMU sensors on each leg, as shown in the video. It consists of a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. We have also used four flexi force pressure sensors at the foot insole. The receiver module connected to the laptop, where using TerraTerm software, we have successfully acquired the data. This window shows the result for Flexi4 sensors as well as IMU sensors recorded from both the legs. This is the bill of material and manufacturing cost of wearable sensor based gate analysis system. This cost is far lesser than the camera based gate analysis system. And this is the proposed manufacturing cost for powered prosthetic leg. 
Our future plan is to design a mathematical model using the gate kinematics data obtained using variable setup we made. Also, we will go for stress analysis on ankle foot model and the design of suitable controller for the powered ankle foot. At last, we express our thanks to Cisco Thinku Beta ITBHU, NASCOM Foundation, DEFI Educational Organization, School of Biomedical Engineering IIT BHU for providing technical support as well as financial support. Thanks to IMS BHU for ethical clearance and Notial Artificial Limb Center Dehradun to provide amputee as well as discussion with amputee. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you team and Sachin. So can we yes, have the sir. question? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, Sachin. A, a first and foremost, such an team, amazing job, man. Uh, I think you guys have done a really good job of defining the problem, thinking through the whole value chain, and coming with a coming up with a unique approach to this. So, well done to you and the team, and I hope you continue to work and take this project to the next level. Yeah, thank you, sir. Any other question? No, we are. I'm good actually. <clears throat> That's very good. Uh, thank you. Right, thank you, sir. So, can we have this code for the team? So, team code is IIT21. So after that, we'll make, move to the uh, second last team for the day. So uh, team name will be Archa and Charshad will be going to present. Moreover, people who seek therapy are better off than 79% of people who don't seek therapy. But in all these numbers, there is this other number, which is a number that left out to me. This number is 484. 484 is the number of people who kill themselves every single day in our country. Every single day. Over 150 million people in our country suffer from some form of mental health disorder, of which only 30 million people are currently seeking therapy. Every one in five people in our country suffer from some form of mental illness. The current pandemic has led to a 20% increase in mental health cases in June, as reported by the Indian Psychiatry Society. One of my friends, Shraddha, runs a merchandising business in Nagpur, and she has been waking up with nightmares and panic attacks for the past two weeks. On the other hand, for every 4 lakh people in our country, there is just one psychologist available. Given this large gap, it is very tough for a psychologist to maintain the same level of focus while teleconsulting all their clients. They face the hassle of multitasking, that is, they need to pick up all the verbal and visual cues given by a user and at the same time write notes of the session. Here is where we come in, happy minds. Our mission statement is to become the leader in the telemental healthcare space and improve the diagnosis in a remote setting using advanced technologies. This is a brief overview of the app we have built for psychologists. We enable the psychologist to establish a strong digital profile that provides clinic branding, details about their expertise, qualifications, and languages. With just a few taps, they can add details about any upcoming Instagram live sessions or webinars and is shared with their entire client base. The app has in-app payment enabled and can be used by the psychologist to seamlessly manage their appointment requests, store and refer to the session notes, and assign and track homework tasks. They can use it to manage their existing clients. Essentially, it's a personalized app that we provide to them. Apart from the existing client base, we help them acquire new clients using the same app. As mentioned before, the psychologists face the hassle of multitasking. They need to write notes and pick up all the cues given by the user at the same time. Our team has developed an assistive technology that provides them real-time insights about the user based on the words used and the tone of the user. This provides the psychologists a much better insight about their clients. Privacy is a core value on which we have built our technology and the assistive technology will be deployed in the phone itself in future updates of the app. The users, on the other hand, can anonymously connect with therapists in a secure manner using chat, voice, or video call. All the data is end-to-end -end encrypted and HIPAA compliant. Using the app, they can also track their progress. We have a built-in smart daily journaling feature. User alone is the owner of his or her data, and the smart journaling provides them insight on how they are doing with their mental health. They are also notified about any upcoming webinars by the therapist and can RSVP it through the app itself. This is how the journey started. From March to June, we interviewed 63 psychologists and around 100 users to understand their specific problems. Post this, our team developed a proof of concept and we did a private beta testing for a month with six psychologists and 42 users. 
During this phase, we continuously improved the MVP based on the feedback received on a weekly basis. Once the beta testing was completed, we started refining our MVP and finished developing the application. We are currently in phase two. Our application was launched on Android Play Store on August 25th. Post this, we will be integrating self-care aspect in the user app in phase three and we will be partnering with institutions in phase four. Coming to our roadmap, we aim to onboard 100 psychologists paying for our service in the next six months, 10K registered users and partner with two academic institutions to provide mental health care access to their students. We would start by partnering with IIT BHU. That would be relatively easier since we are students of IIT BHU itself. We aim to run it as a customer funded business for these six months. Post achieving this target, our goal would be scaling the product and we would be seeking funding for the same. Currently, we are looking for collaborations with institutions for a paid pilot. A team of 10 members consisting of designers, business developers, psychologists and technical developers. The core team currently consists of two members. I'm Shashwat Agarwal and my co-founder is Vivian Shumar. Both of us are undergrad students at IIT Varmasi. Thank you, Shashwat. So, can we have the question? Hey, Shashwat, this is really a beautiful, uh, uh, a beautiful way of developing a, a solution for a real life problem today. The, the question I have is, why have you taken, like, I, I understand the psychologist route uh, where you're building something for the psychologist. The question I have is, uh, you're making them more efficient, but why would you not, why did you not explore connecting to the, uh, the places where younger people or others can actually call in uh, 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 to talk about their mental health challenges. So I think there are, you're solving a supply side problem, I'm talking about a demand side problem. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what I understood is that you are asking that uh, our customers are essentially psychologists and uh, not users because we are providing the solution to the psychologists and are not catering to the demand side. Is is it? Uh, yep. so did I understand yep. it correctly? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. that makes sense. So in phase one, why we are doing that is because uh, during the beta testing, we face this problem of maintaining the supply and demand. So currently, we have launched it as a CRM where we could saturate the supply side. So we currently have. 10 Later this month, it would be launched so that any user can install it and use it uh, by seeing the list of psychologists that are available. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Ashwin. Any other question? So judges, please go to the team. Uh, team code is IIT23. So after that, we'll having our uh, last team for the day. So team Azman, Akash will be going to present. ये मेरा डैशबोर्ड है ये मेरे पास पेंडिंग चेक का लिस्ट है अब मैं कस्टमर को वेरीफाई करने वाला हूं 
कन्फर्म सेकंड से रूम नंबर 103 मेरे कस्टमर को अलॉट हो गया है मैं डैशबोर्ड पे वापस जा रहा हूं एक्टिव सेकंड्स में 103 रूम नंबर आकाश हुआ साइन हो गया है और स्टेटस वेरीफाइड है गेट कस्टमर डिटेल्स करूंगा तो मेरे पास सारी कस्टमर की डिटेल्स आ रही हैं ஒரு <laughs> Uh, so do you take care of uh, payment integration pay of the platform integration so sir yeah i got your question so we have two things uh, uh, in our in our product first is a contactless second part and the other is the uh, dashboard so in the dashboard uh, we provide the uh, payment and invoicing services and uh, apart from that the customer can choose add on uh, the add on include room service and dining features in which the in which the guest will get get a link through which he can order the room service or the food in the, from for, for the dining in the room mm-hmm. okay and it is the invoicing is also completely paperless uh, it is done through emailing and messaging okay okay so uh, unlike any other <clears throat> uh, platform which is available in the market like uh, uh, paytm or anything else in this uh, so us is very uh, personalized for that uh, specific uh, customer or specific hospitality uh, industry or for example if you are building for jw marriott it is specifically for that and uh, it's very close to so i i i like the concept i mean it's closed and uh, it's more secured as well as long as the transaction is more closer um, yeah so uh that's uh, pretty much from my end yeah yeah uh, i i would i i have this is good i have a suggestion maybe if, if it's already incorporated that's great uh right now uh, the uh, the the hospitality industry there are a lot of different types of small uh, hospitality uh, individual owners and uh, small chains so they uh, give their inventory away through various channels i mean uh, they may be listed on multiple aggregator platforms so and they may be accepting direct bookings uh, for their facility so what uh, this uh, solution can actually uh, add a feature where they can actually integrate all these uh, aggregator based booking through either through api or through whatever technology that you can place so that they uh, it serves well uh, with other uh, benefits that they are the, their other pain points it, it to address the other pain points that they are having having only contactless check in as a feature will not fly that much maybe because uh, their their existing system whatever they are using it's it's just a matter of time that they will uh, uh, those systems will upgrade themselves uh, upgrade uh, their uh, features and they will offer the same uh, so this is not a uh, this is not a uh, a thing which can uh, which can justify a, a whole company so, sure sir i got so you, i got your point so uh, like i said that contactless check in is just a part of our product 
apa so uh, this is a uh, uh, part which will be like uh, using more in this covid period but apart from that we offer uh, offer services like uh, invoicing and uh, inventory management so inventory management service will be also added soon in our feature list and uh, also apart from that uh, we we do uh, we do uh, paperless uh, billing and uh, all the room service and dining feature involved in our product and uh, the point you made that we will be uh, uh, actually calling those api of trivago and uh, uh, trivago and make my trip in our in our website and our web app that will be actually beneficial for us good Need to you know rebrand yourself and uh, to to give a uh, it may give a false idea. So what uh, what I understand from you is basically you are a hospitality ERP for the new normal. Yes. A beautiful uh, concept, and I think my my only suggestion to what Puneet is saying is if you really look at the hospitality industry, I think one is the hotel industry, uh, there is the food and beverage industry. Uh, and my only request is, I think this is, you had a lot of things to type when a person checks in. So if there is any way you can integrate that with something like the Arogya Setu app uh, and have national IDs uh, so that you can accelerate that whole process uh, of check-in, because I think that's a real problem in the market today. Uh, whether it's in a food and beverage outlet, whether it's in a, a premium hotel or even a normal hotel. So I think it's a fantastic concept. And I think you guys have really thought through this. So well done to you and the team. Thanks and sure, sir. So, so thank you, everyone. Uh, so, can you move to the uh, So, I would like to thank you, everyone. Uh, so, we are done with the presentation. And thank you very much for being a part of this incubator community. So grateful that you've taken time to join. So without wasting much time, just I would like to uh, call Vishaya sir and just share his feedback and say some human words. Vishal, over to you sir. Hey, thanks Vikram. Hey, look, uh, I, I think I know many of you uh, personally, I think, and I've interacted with you for a couple of years. And I can tell you that uh, I'm really pleased to see how all of you have grown. Uh, and uh, the clarity of thought, the clarity of communication, uh, the problems that you guys are trying to solve. Uh, uh, and you're really doing path-breaking stuff. So I'm really, really, really pleased uh, and extremely uh, impressed uh, with, with each of you uh, and how you're using this platform uh, to become truly entrepreneurial uh, and solving real-life problems uh, in ways we have not imagined before. So uh, I think the whole concept of Thinkubator was to get you guys to think, uh, was to incubate. Uh, and I think it's serving an amazing purpose here in IIT BHU. So I'm very, very, I genuinely appreciate uh, all the hard work put together by each of the teams and the amazing ideas that you guys came up with. Uh, and I think, uh, I, I think just that process that you, each of you followed uh, in critical thinking uh, on the problems you're trying to solve. Uh, is such an important skill to learn uh, so early in your life. Uh, and, uh, and I can tell you it will serve you well for the rest of your life. So thank you so much uh, for uh, for being part uh, and, and an amazing thank you to all of the other stakeholders, Puneet, Sir, uh, Sonal, Ma'am, uh, the the Project Defy, Vikram and the entire Thank You Better team of Lakshmi and others uh, 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 who are helping uh, these teams with these projects. So, so I, 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 I was really happy uh, to listen to all of these. I, I think I'm pretty excited and thrilled uh, to see how all these ideas are developing and how to see each of you growing uh, as you work through this project. So thank you, Vikram. Uh, that's all that I had to say. Uh, thank you for having me, team. And I'm very... Yes, yeah, so thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So just I would like to call Lakshmi Narshiman, sir, to uh, please share his uh, feedback. Hey, uh, <clears throat> absolutely. It's a mix of, uh, you know, the sector today published. You have uh, healthcare, retail, payment, uh, plus automotive. Very great ideas has come up uh, very well from uh, from this program. And uh, I, I, uh, I really, you know, as we are also, you know, a large part, we are in the similar uh, uh, 
uh, field of uh, helping a startups. That's our key main goal, right? So pretty excited to uh, uh, help uh, extend my help at any of uh, any of that uh, required uh, on the on this on 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 the industry standard. What what it takes, what it means, and how do we improve the features? Technically, all possible way I can help on that. So overall, it's really good. Thank you. Thanks for uh, making me intervene to this jury. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So I would like to call Arvind Madik sir now to please share his uh, feedback. You're on mute, sir. Arvind sir, you're on mute. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, being associated with Incubator for the last two years, uh, the way this presentation went in along along with you know planned presentations and the timing itself, you know we're ahead of time, which is great. So uh, it, it's awesome, and uh, the kind of projects that we are working on right now is more mature, more go to market ready, uh, and uh, more focused on uh, you know solving problems directly. So that's pretty exciting. So uh, overall, uh, wonderful and. Uh, I'm really happy and proud to be part of this uh, whole team and uh, all the best to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to call uh, Puneet, sir. Yeah, thanks, Vikram. Uh, I, I think I, I will, I go by what actually we have seen a lot of progress in the way uh, Ideas and, uh, getting as close to uh, so, so uh, 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 production grade that is So that they get the right uh, uh, connections and right network in place, that they have started to escape. I understand that this was, you know, this is also an area where uh, you know uh, you need to work on a strategy. I think thank you, Puni sir. But uh, I guess there was some. Yeah, thank that, you, that's all from my Puneet side, Vikram. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would like to call now Sonal, ma'am, to please share her some sort of feedback. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. That's great. Thank you, ma'am. So I would like to call now Joshua uh, to just share some a few words. Thank you, Vikram, and uh, thanks to Atas Student Body, a beautifully organized uh, program, and uh, all the teams like you know, presented so beautifully, very matured, and uh, felt like uh, uh, you are really gone quite. Far now, actually, and uh, I'm sure all the jury members have given a very valuable input to you, and uh, you will be taking that for your growth. And I'm sure your career, everything is going to be uh, great with all your ideas. It's been a mind blow blowing, actually. And thanks for your time and participating in all these uh, presentations. And uh, 
I'm sure everyone enjoyed with all the kind of ideas that you have come out with actually. And uh, uh, I thank uh, Wish for joining us from Singapore, I believe. And uh, I know the time, everything must be something different over there and you're taking your valuable time to join with us. And I know your heart is very close to uh, all the teams over here. You have personally been involved throughout uh, years together actually. And thank you for your participation. And uh, uh, also to, uh, I thank Lakshmi uh, for joining us uh, and representing Cisco. And uh, it was great having you. And for all the feedbacks that you gave, I thank you so much. And uh, yeah, Arvind, uh, with whom we are always a great friend and having a great relationship with us. And uh, thank you, Arvind, for your contribution. <laughs> it thank was you. really great. Yeah, you have been together. I know even your heart is together with the Think You Better project since the beginning. I know that. <laughs> and uh, also thank you uh, to uh, Puneet. Uh, thank you for being with us and uh, for contributing your time and uh, giving your valuable ideas and uh, your. Uh, I know, I'm sure the teams will be uh, in touch with all of you, all the jury members, and we would appreciate all your contribution with them also. And uh, uh, not but the least, like uh, I should never uh, leave out with Sonal Man and also with uh, uh, PK Mishra sir, and who have been always been very closely involved with all the projects, all the con uh, meetings that we had. Uh, I don't think it would have been possible even for the teams to perform so well without them or even for us to uh, join with you all. And uh, thanks to uh, the student body, obviously they have done a lot and good and surely on uh, top of all these things, I would not forget our mentors also, uh, Lyle and Prashant, for a great contribution. And they brought in a lot of uh, inputs for the teams to build on to come up till this prototype. And apart from that, uh, the overall, the whole show is not, uh, would not be possible if Cisco was not there actually. And Cisco has been contributing this whole idea of Think You Better project and to uh, install this project in IIT and in various parts. And now like we are going uh, to expand to nine more un universities. That is what is our plan uh, coming forward for the next cohort. So we'll be having around 15 uh, projects. And this is like a con complete contribution where the Cisco has been uh, visualizing that the ideas come from the universities and we need to go expand and this has to be really built up very good. And so I thank Cisco and for all your contributions. And uh, we thank all the jury members for participating with us. And thanks to Vikram also for beautifully organizing the whole uh, project and uh, looking after the timeline and everything beautifully well done. Thanks to Vikram also. And thank you everyone once and for all. Thank you so much. For now. Thank you, Jyotha. Uh, so I would like to call now Prashant Chaudhary, who was a part of this program from the beginning and he is a very good mentor to all of the students. So Prashant Chaudhary. I guess his audio is not connected. So and uh, so yeah, we are done with the show now. So officially, uh, we are over with all our presentations, and so we are good to leave the call now. Thank you very much, everyone, once again. Hey, 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 thanks, Vikram, again for an amazingly well orchestrated uh, session, and I am so you should be really proud for actually finishing 15 minutes in advance. Thank you so much, and well done to everyone. Uh, on this call. Thank you.